Hello guys, good morning and welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to a brand new video. I've just parked up outside of Selfridges at the Trafford Centre. I am actually planning on coming back here next week. I've got a couple of appointments and things. So I was thinking about doing like a Trafford Centre come shop with me. We can have a look at H&M Home, Zara, um, come to my appointments with me and all of that. So that'll be live next week. But for today, I just need to pop in and get a present for someone. I want to have a quick look at the White Company in Selfridges so I'm, I'm literally just gonna go to Selfridges um today but then I also need to do a bit of a food shop and I'm gonna go home via Sainsbury's because I've seen online that Sainsbury's have some amazing home wearing at the moment and I've seen in stores as well to be fair so I'm gonna have a browse and show you guys some new in bits as well and other than that today's plan is just simply to have a bit of a reorganised, kind of start getting ready for spring, maybe a bit of a spring clean. So yeah, that's the plan for today. So I thought I'd pick up my camera and bring you guys along with me. We're kind of spring with the sunnies, still wintry with the gilet. So we're transitioning, let's just say that. If you are yet to feel in the spring mood, go treat yourself to some nice flowers or something. I feel like that's a good stepping stone into making yourself feel ready for spring but anyway for now let's head on in let's have a quick look at the white company and then i think i might grab a coffee afterwards because i haven't had one yet today and i'm thirsty windy down this tunnel my <clears throat> body decided it needed a boost instead of a coffee so that's what I've gone for if you like ginger go for a ginger tonic let me just get in my car this is what I'm wearing today by the way a little random outfit of the day Lulu leggings on this jumper is from Abercrombie and then I've just got this gilet on from H&M which I love it's like nice and oversized then I've got some Adenola socks and my Anina Bing trainers a couple of white company bags down but yeah you need to try the ginger tonic that they do at Boost it's real zesty I do pay extra to get extra ginger in though because I just like the spice I like the kick I felt like I only had toast for breakfast this morning I felt like I could have done with something green inside of me so boost juice it is I'll have to get a coffee maybe after Sainsbury's because that is where we're headed now there is actually a big Asda here which is really good but I just it's the homeware that's drawing me to habitat um at Sainsbury's I just you know I'm just when I get something in my mind I need to do it it was a bit like this trip I was like I'd seen something from the white company that I wanted so I was like right I'm gonna go and get it and it's the same with Sainsbury's I'm like oh I've seen that they do a couple of really nice homeware bits that I want to get my hands on so I'm just gonna go I've gotta go and I can't it's like a craving I can't or same with this with juices or anything like I feel like if I have something in my mind a business idea whatever it may be i obsess over it until it's done or like i crave it until it's done fun fact this tower here you can see behind me i abseiled down that once <laughs> it was like for a work thing that i organized like a charity thing and a few of us um did it together but yeah we abseiled down that i remember tom cheering me on from the bottom that was like early days of us dating <laughs> I was at the wrong place at the right time Cause suddenly there you were with those bright blue eyes We were conversing into the night sky When you took my hand said let's leave now It's gone a tad overcast so I feel a little bit silly for wearing these still but um, yeah it's not looking good it's looking pretty grey out there um, and I was just about to Take the dog for a walk as well might just might just hold off for a half an hour or so anyway i thought i would share the bits with you that um i picked up from the shops before getting on with some organizing and cleaning this afternoon also grabbed a coffee on route like i said 
felt like I needed one, got one. Give it the dramatics, like, oh, I need a coffee, steak calf. I'm actually gonna bring my chair over and sit up properly. <sighs> I felt like this is the first time I've sat down all morning. I say morning, it's already nearly one o'clock. I'll start with the white company bits that I got. First, see a couple of things for myself. And I saw that they had these online for Easter. Online, they're 35 pounds. And I love them. They're beautiful. They're Easter egg kind of decorations for maybe popping on, like if you imagine a vase with some really nice like contorted hazel or eucalypts or like foliage that goes out quite wide to be able to like hang them on the stems. So they've got four large glass ones in this set. And then just for comparison, four smaller ones as well. And then they also have uh, white speckled eggs. They're all on this kind of jute ribbon. So, so pretty. I feel like that is a nice kind of nod to strip. Oh, I am the most clumsy person ever. Thank goodness we're not on a hard floor and I managed to not break any. Why do I do this to myself? No wonder I get stressed out. Anyway, saved them all. And I so carefully showed you them as well, thinking they might tip out. But anyway, this is what they look like, the full set. So yeah, £35 they sell for online. They came up as £24.50 in the traffic centre store so maybe check out your shops just in case they're a little bit cheaper in stores i don't know why they're still full price online and cheaper in stores but anyway i also treated myself maybe we'll get it out today um the new scent that they've got it's replacing grapefruit and it's very similar grapefruit and mandarin this one so it's just got i prefer it to grapefruit because i've had grapefruit in the past but they've got this in stores at the minute and it's it's citrusy. But that oranginess, it kind of like, it kind of brings you through from winter into spring. Cause like obviously the winter scents very much clove, orange spices. So yeah, brings it through from that. Very spring appropriate scent that one. So yeah, treat myself to one of those. Their oils are 10 pounds. I'll leave that one linked below. And then I did purchase gift wrap option at three pounds for this because I'm gonna give my mum this for Mother's Day. Mum, if you're watching, maybe skip forward, look away now. Um, but yeah, I have got her a present. I felt like I just wanted to get her a little something extra to go with it. So I picked up this. She is a bath lover. So I got her one of the oils, the bath soaks. They do several. I was gonna get the Nourish one, but then I decided to go with Spa because it just smells amazing. So this one is actually, they do have a bath oil, but this one's a muscle soak. So it's a bit more like bubbly. Um, they're all 30 pounds, the, is it 30 or 35 pounds? But all of their products this size for the bath are about that price. But yeah, Spa, Restore, Geranium, Neroli, and Eucalyptus Muscle Soak. It smells insane seeing as though she is a bath lover are you a bath lover or a shower person i'm definitely more of a shower person i feel like for me having a bath is once in a blue moon not when i'm washing my hair just as a bit of a maybe if i've been on a really like long cold walk or something or um i've got a bit of spare time in an evening that i want to maybe have a bit of a pamper that's my bath time whereas like my mum will have a bath every single time so Sainsbury's was a success and I did pop into John Lewis because the one that I went to has a big John Lewis and I picked up Barney a collar a new barber collar he needs these at his daycare he needs quick release ones they have to have these and ever since that scare where his cheap pets at home one I couldn't get off when he was choking if you remember that story I told whereby a dog and him were playing the other dog got his jaw caught in barney's collar and he's struggling to get away and barney's there like choking and we couldn't get it off and it was a quick release collar not so quick release treated him to a new barber one posh pooch that one was 27 pounds and 95 pence and then from sainsbury's i'll show you the bits i got so firstly this which i thought was absolutely beautiful it's kind of like a paper tissue style box it's quite light 
but it has a lid on it as well so just perfect for storage but i thought this styled up i did pick up something similar to this a while back which is put away for once we've renovated and i've got like all the style all the shelves to style up once we've got them um and yeah i just thought that would actually be quite handy for storage as well maybe to like have all of the ground coffee popped in there or like out on display for just knickknacks and bits and bobs to just pop them away but yeah so i've got that that one was 14 pounds then i got these for 12 pounds and i do i think i hope i'm not double purchasing here but i think i've bought these in the light colored wood which they also have um already in storage somewhere it'll be i'm just i've been keeping a lot of decor pieces in storage until we fully renovate it so i've got the odd random bit out but honestly i can't wait until it's all done i can have a good sort through of that storage room and actually put things in their homes and in their places and start styling spaces up a bit more i have the dark acacia wooded one this time and they're just good for like styling up on coffee table books shelves wherever so i picked up those oh this is a fun purchase especially for any stationary journal lovers, mindfulness people who practice that and love the Vex King books. I've seen that he's brought out the greatest self-help book is the one written by you. This is a daily journal. It's just a plain black book as well. So really pretty, really pretty. Really simple to like style up. I wouldn't describe it as pretty, but you know what I mean. The journaling is your avenue to emotional literacy. There is no greater self-help book written than the one you write about yourself. It explains a bit about journaling, what it is, who it's for, when to do it, how to use this journal, routines, calm kit, bucket lists reflections and yeah there's a quote every single day it's not dated either which is always a plus for me because then you can just kind of fill it out as and when you want to um but yeah i love a guided journal and this is a bit of me now was it full price no it was half price so it was from 20 pounds down to just 10. i did spot this like underwear set in the clearance and i just thought the color of it was really pretty it's like an olive color it's obviously half price as you can tell so the top which is like just an underwired uh, not underwired non-wired like bralette style with a pretty bit of lace detail and then just the matching bottoms to go with it are they were also half price from five pound down to two pound fifty so i thought as a set that was really really pretty i picked up a mother's day card they had some gorgeous designs actually again mom if you're looking look away now because this is going to be your card but i just thought that was so so pretty so i picked that up for my mum for mother's day and then i also got this little notebook which i just thought was really handy just to have like by my bedside table kind of had this vision of doing a bit of a dream journal we want to have a journal, clearly. That one was only £3.25. I did also pick up a basic tea. This was £6 and I love the colour of it. It's going to need a steam now. It's been in, all creased up in that bag. In a size 10, it says oversized fit, but yeah, I just love the kind of charcoal colour to that. It was £6. Oh, I got this wax melt burner. How pretty is this? It's kind of like a black, it's got slight textured pattern to it. But as you can tell, you just pop your tea light in there wax on top and this one was 12 pounds kind of pricey but it's pretty and i just nearly dropped it again i'm just so clumsy let's not drop the coffee on the carpet uh oh i feel like i've said it now <laughs> i saw these as well these uh incense cones which i have used before i bought some in the past from oliver bonus uh, but they've got these in patchouli and orange and they are just as they say like incense cones i've got this back here this incense burner which i love burning tom also is a big incense lover and i go up to his the top floor which is like his office and wardrobe room um it always smells so lovely in there i can tell when he's been burning incense anyway they were five pounds and then last but not least i picked up these which are the main things that i'd seen on online on instagram that i was like oh i really want to get these i think these were six were they both six pounds i can't remember but um they're basically sets of measuring spoons and cups so this first one as you can tell are the measuring cups you've got quarter third half and a full cup and they're in this gorgeous acacia wood which I just think looks so nice. Nice to even have like on display. And then I also picked up the matching spoons, measuring spoons. And these come on a little 
tight. Nice and handy to obviously keep them all together. It's a set of four in that same acacia wood. Quarter teaspoon, half teaspoon, one teaspoon, and also a tablespoon. And it's got the mill measurements as well. But yeah, how nice are these? Very like Zara home. So yeah, that is everything that I picked up from the shops. It pains me to have to put these away until the kitchen's done, but I know that when I do get around to sorting through everything, it's gonna feel like Christmas. Cause I've been buying stuff for this kitchen, for this future kitchen for, well, since we've moved in basically. So for a couple of years, so like nice cookery books, stuff like this. That's what I was saying earlier. I've got, I hope I'm not double buying anything because you kind of forget what you buy. I'm actually so excited to organize through everything that I've got put away in that storage room and actually use things, put things out in their places, share it obviously with you guys. Cause I'm sure you guys are gonna appreciate it too. It's gonna be like one huge haul, but from over two years worth of buying stuff. But anyway, I feel like it's time to um, get on with some washing actually. I need to put a couple of washers on first, maybe head out with the dog for a walk because it is starting to brighten up now, thankfully. And then just, yeah, crack on with some housework this afternoon. I need to tidy up this filming room as well. That's maybe a job for another day. Don't wanna be shy. Oh, you're modeling that so beautifully. And it's reflective too, which means it's good for nighttime walks as well. Gonna use this from Dalesford Farm. This is the Rosemary Multi Surface Cleaner, perfect for in a kitchen. Smells amazing. Only used it a few times, and yeah, I already, even though there's loads left, clearly, I already don't want it to run out. So that's what I'm gonna use. I'm gonna use a microfiber cloth with it too. Just wipe down all of these surfaces, and then I'm gonna pop some. Oops, drop the cloth. And I'm gonna pop some Zaflora in the sink. This is my go-to for this time of the year as we lead into spring. The mandarin and lime smells so good. It's a beautiful blend of zesty limes and juicy mandarin bringing a fruity, fresh fragrance to your home. been one area that I've needed to spring clean for a long while, well overdue. And since so getting back from holiday, I've just kind of shoved everything in here in this drawer. So it needs a good clear out, organize, declutter. I'm kind of thankful that you can't see this right now, but I'm just gonna show you. 
that needs sorting out. So I'm gonna go around myself a bit bag because there's definitely some products in here that are like basically empty slash have been open for far too long and need binning anyway. Um, and then yeah, let's see what we're working with. When I fantasize deep sleep, big heat, cover me, turn out the light. Totally forgot I had this in here. I've been using this one in my bath, which is kind of like half empty now. It's from M&S, the Harvard Vetiver Bath Soap. But like I say, because I don't have baths that often, I feel like bath bubbles last a while for me. So I've still got that one to go through, but next up after that one's empty, I'm gonna use this because um, it just smells divine. It's called the Scent to De-Stress, this one. And I think they do other scents. I don't know if they do them all in the bath soap, but it's just, oh, it's like a spa smelling luxury treat. Bath tray, I think. I could do with, um, something to put these magnesium salts in as well. I've got a little scoop for them, I just need a bowl to put them in or some kind of container. In fact, I feel like I've got this one through here, which I haven't put out yet. Um, where is that? This one from Donnell. It's quite generously sized. So this is the finished result. I definitely feel like I could do with some like draw inserts just to help organize things, keep things in their place. But I've just got like body section over here with tan, moisturizer, deodorant, talcum powder, dental hygiene, um, my contact lenses, some hand sanitizer, and then hair stuff here, oil, dry shampoo and my whey pomade and then this is kind of like my face care skincare a lot less chaotic even if it is it's still fairly full and needs compartmentalizing with uh storage baskets that sun is trying to peek through peek through them clouds um oh this is unfortunate timing but i got a parcel pr parcel when i got back from finland from emu australia of which they sent me some waterproof boots which would have been so ideal for the trip they've also said another pair is en route so when they arrive i'll show you show you those but how perfect would these have been for on holiday and uh, they are 100 waterproof as well this is in the blurred camel i just thought i would show you those regardless so that if anyone is booking any winter getaways um, then make sure to check out that new style because they are blooming lovely. I had a couple of things set to one side just to share with you, which I bought a while back now. And I think I showed on like Instagram and TikTok. So I'm doing a lot more like TikTok short form content for like out and about shopping and hauls and stuff like that. So if you're here for the hauls, then definitely go follow me on TikTok for like excess content but for now i thought i would just briefly share them with you guys on youtube as well so bnm a while back i popped in and got another one of these trays which are duping the white company uh Nukem range and it's four pounds i've already got one of these but i thought i would stock up on another one they're just perfect for popping in a bathroom with your hand soaps on and everything feeling a lot less cluttered by having it within a tray i also got these these three piece canister set i thought this was good because firstly look at that price four pounds but they're like a canister which obviously you can use for utility bits bathroom bits but it also comes with a tray so whether you keep it on the tray or keep them as separate i quite liked the kind of clear tray just on its own uh, and then the last thing that i got from b&m one pound fifty 
And again, something I'm gonna to pop to one side for our kitchen once it's finished. We have, will have in the island, a drawer next to the hob which is for spices. So it has like a proper wooden spice rack in. So I'm gonna use that for uh, decanting some nice, some spices into some nice spice jars and using these labels. One pound 50, 18 pack, I just thought they were mega bargain and I really like the um, font that they've chosen for them. And then from Hobbycraft, I got a couple of random like Eastery bits which I thought I would share with you. First see this wooden tray which would make great styling purpose, um, like to just pop some bits on and yeah, style it up. These are all like, I'm gonna say two to six pounds. I've got these napkin rings as well with like a hessian bunny ears. So adorable for Easter. And these ones as well. I only got one of those. This was a pound just to show you. And also as a white company dupe, they've got the wooden ones that look like bunny ears. This is like so similar. They've got these cute little carrots in. And then last but not least, some wooden eggs. So obviously for comparison for the white company ones that I picked up today at £24.50, these ones I think were about £6 for a bag this size with all wooden plain ones. So more so for like painting and decorating or for styling up in a bowl. Um, yeah, I mean, maybe even as like table place settings if you're hosting for Easter dinner to like pop someone's name, write, write people's names on there and just lay them in a napkin. I thought that could, could be quite cute. Uh, whereas obviously the white company ones are more like hanging decorations. They're the last bits that I wanted to share with you within today's video. I hope you guys have enjoyed this bit of a reset, shop, random vlog, to be completely honest with you. I just thought I'd pick up the camera today. But I've not got much else planned on really. I just need to edit for the rest of today eat dinner, go to sleep. That's pretty much my plans. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys have enjoyed today's video and that is my cue. The builders have spoken. Oh, honestly, we're nearly the end. We're nearly at the end. But yeah, thank you so much for watching. I hope you all have a lovely rest of your day and I hope to see you all very, very soon in my next video. Bye guys.